going to get started here. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we thank you for coming. This is obviously a very exciting day for our student athletes, um, for our community. Uh, I'm going to keep this short and just say what I admire most about all these ladies and gentlemen here is the way they've represented Heights High in our community the right way each and every day. We appreciate their hard work and we look forward to what they're going to do next in life. So um, with that, we're going to get started. We're going to start down there with Lisa and Coach Terry and we're going to work our way. I want to thank everyone for coming and also congratulate everyone that's here today to the um, Vox 3 benefits and the hard work that they put in. Um, this is a, it's a great day for them and um, we're happy to be here and give a small part of uh, representing ICE. The program that we uh, provide for kids um, is the Girls Across program. And we are, our whole goal is to give kids the opportunity to further their college careers and benefit from, from all that that has to offer. Uh, often that's, um, whether it's the opportunity to play, the opportunity to attend the school, or the financial help that goes along with that. And um, we have girls that are still making those decisions right now. Uh, so that at some point in time this spring, they'll, they'll make their final decisions and be part of this process. But today we have one player with a major decision. And we have most of those on program started off playing for us for the fifth grade. What makes this player remarkable is she came to us last year for the first time as a producer and began playing. As a guest that she did not anticipate where we're going to lead her in such a quick time and she's a great athlete and she deserves what she's been able to accomplish. So a BCM. To begin, I would like to say thank you to God for blessing me and my talents and blessing me with this unbelievable opportunity. I would also like to thank my coach Terry for believing me since day one and my parents for supporting me on the sidelines every day. And with that being said, I am taking my talents to Erskine College next year. Coach Battle, and I am the head women's basketball coach. Today I have the pleasure of introducing you to Ayanna Williams, who has been a four-year player in our varsity program. Um, Ayanna is exactly what any coach would want in a player. You can have a conversation with her and let her know what part of her game she needs to work on, um, where you need her to lead the team. And no matter whether or not she is the team captain, she will assume that role. I am very proud and pleased to have coached Ayana, and I wish her nothing but the best in the future. Thank you. I would like to thank my coaches, my teammates, and most importantly, most importantly, my family for supporting me through my high school career. Make sure I will be attending Alderson. Rhodes University to continue. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Max Stevens, head football coach here at Cleveland Heights. Um, before I start introducing some of the players, um, I first want to thank a lot of people uh, that are responsible for what you see today, a lot of people that work behind the scenes. Uh, first of all, the Cleveland Heights 
uh, high school administration, uh, the superintendent, uh, counselors, and all the individual teachers. A uh, huge thank you goes out to our athletic director, Joe D'Amato, and his administrative assistant, Ms. Pugsley. Uh, they put up with me uh, throughout the uh, season and throughout the year with coaches coming in and me asking for transcripts and uh, helping me get some of the guys out of uh, classes to meet with some of the uh, coaches. Um, also want to uh, thank all the parents uh, for entrusting myself and the staff for uh, allowing us the opportunity to coach your your play or your young men and uh, also um, huge uh, shout out goes to my uh, coaching staff all the assistant coaches who uh, do most of the work and, and I kind of get most of the credit for all the good things uh, but especially uh, coach Hicks who very instrumental in, in uh, helping all of these guys get recruited by uh, colleges from all over the country. Um, lastly, uh, just want to uh, thank all of our players for uh, just putting up with us coaches. Uh, we put some high expectations on these guys and um, they bought into uh, the philosophy. Uh, before I start introducing uh, the players, uh, I just want to kind of touch on what uh, the Heights football philosophy is, and it's basically threefold in its approach. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we demand academic excellence. Uh, that can mean different things for the individual players, but it's something that we try to stress as much as possible every single day. Uh, secondly, social responsibility. Uh, they knew uh, there were uh, certain expectations in terms of how they addressed the young ladies in the hallways, how they addressed their teachers. They knew I did not want mom or dad calling me because they didn't take out the trash or do whatever chores they were responsible for. And then lastly, uh, from an athletic standpoint, uh, it's just simply giving us everything you, you have as an athlete. And if they followed that blueprint, which is what we call it, the blueprint, uh, they would be on the pathway to success. And, because these gentlemen follow the blueprint, uh, it's the very reason they are sitting up here right now. So without further ado, I'll get started with uh, Mr. James Weaver, uh, starting cornerback. James is a junior, um, uh, had to fight for a starting position, ended up halfway through the season playing in front of a senior, never gave up that position and went on to do some great things as a senior. Um, I forgot. I have an award over there for Brandon. Uh, Brandon uh, received the Brandon Bullsworth Award. It's a national recognition for a young man who displays high character uh, as a student athlete. So Brandon, I, or, uh, James, I didn't mention that to you, but I'll make sure I get that to you. Brandon. First off, I'd like to thank God for putting me in this position. Uh, second, I want to thank my parents and my family uh, for everything they did. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Cleveland Heights coaching staff for everything they did for me. Um, and with that being said, I'll be able to the university. Okay. Next guy uh, who I met uh, my very first year being hired, uh, Trayvon Scott, uh, who uh, for his position at the time was a smaller guy, but one of the most determined, hardworking guys, always led by example, Trayvon Scott. Teacher for allowing me to be the best student athlete as possible and helping me 
next young man, I didn't know a whole lot about him uh, prior to um, late July. Um, uh, he and his parents stopped up to uh, the field one day during practice, introduced himself. Uh, he was a transfer from uh, Euclid High School, uh, came right in, and I believe on day two, ended up getting the starting position and did a phenomenal job for us, Mr. Ben Dresden. I'd like to say thank you to my family, my coaches, um, the teachers here, the students, my peers, and uh, I will be attending Mount Union University. Next young man, another young man who uh, was a freshman when I first started, was under the uh, tutelage of uh, Coach Newton at the time. Um, as we got towards the end of the season, the freshman season ended, and uh, we had qualified for the playoffs. Uh, we were playing, uh, at the time, the number nine team in the country. Uh, we were low on numbers, and we brought a freshman up who actually uh, got a little bit of time in that game. Um, just continued to work hard uh, over the next several, uh, the next couple of years. Um, and I've always said, pound for pound, one of the strongest, uh, the toughest football players um, I've had the pleasure of coaching. Xavier Pillar. Hey, how y'all doing? First, I would like to thank God for putting me in this position I am today. I would also like to thank everyone else who has helped me in this journey, but I would like to give a special thanks to my parents for grooming me into this young man that I am today. Coach Matt. For um, being the first to believe in my abilities on and off the field throughout all four years of high school football. Coach New for keeping me um, focused on the task at hand. Coach TT and TJ for helping me get my body physically ready for not only the high school level but the collegiate level as well. And finally, the rest of the Cleveland High School football staff and the Abbott family. And, with that being said, I'm proud to say that I have followed the blueprint since the first day I got to Heights. And I will be continuing my academic and athletic career at the University of Mount Union. Uh, this next young man, um, not that I can have favorites, but uh, he's one of my favorites. Um, Josh, Josh was our quarterback. Uh, you know, as a freshman, played a number of different positions. Um, and as a uh, his junior year, was in uh, part of a quarterback battle, and we ended up uh, naming him the starting quarterback. Played pretty well. Uh, we decided to go to a different type of offense his senior year. He embraced it. And, um, you know, Josh was really challenged. Uh, not only by myself, but Coach Hicks, uh, in ways beyond what you, what you saw on the football field. And uh, to his credit, he embraced everything and really grew up, matured, and put himself in an in awesome position. Uh, the school that Josh is attending gave him a, a complete, full ride, and uh, I, I couldn't be happier for him. Um, Josh Harris. First, I would like to thank God for blessing me with the abilities to play this game. Uh, I want to thank the whole Cleveland Heights football staff for uh, bringing the best out of me day in and day out. I want to thank my teammates, friends, <laughs> and family for being there for me throughout this journey. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to my mom and my dad for raising me to be the, um, the man I am today. And you all the reasons I go so hard. And last but not least, I want to thank my teachers for helping me and guiding me throughout this school year. With that being said, for the next four years, I'll be, I'll be pursuing my academic and athletic career at the University of Finley. Yeah. Oh, he got a hat. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that one, Jay? 
Nah. So this next young man uh, transferred to Cleveland Heights back in the summer, uh, from originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, just started playing high school football his junior year. And uh, I remember when I first met him, you know, one of his state statements to me was he wanted to be challenged. He wanted his uh, talent to be taken to a, to a different level. And, um, and every day, I tried my best to uh, just kind of pour into him, even, be even beyond the football field. And at times, I would even uh, do some one-on-one -on -one drills with him and try to throw him around as much as I could. And uh, he always responded and, and, and had a great, great season for us. Uh, was one of the best defensive players um, in Northeast Ohio, in my opinion, Anthony Johnson. I would first like to thank God for giving me, for giving me the opportunity to be on this platform to talk about how I would be furthering my career. I have received so many blessings to the game of football in the short amount of time I've been playing. And like Coach Max says, it's only the beginning. And today I get to speak on how I'm moving closer to my dream and one day playing in, uh, one play, one day playing in the NFL. I know many talk of this dream. I, re I realize that there are steps that come with this process. One of the steps was moving here to Cleveland Heights and gaining a new family. I'd like to thank all of my family and coaches back in PA. Next, I'd like to thank my Heights family. Coach Smith has done so much for me. Most of you wouldn't even understand. Coach Mack has, has been like another father to me. Took me to another level as a football player and as a young man. Coach New really helped me feel comfortable being here at Heights, guiding me through school, staying on me, making sure I did my best. At times, I really needed that. Coach Dre, without him, I probably wouldn't even play in basketball, but he showed me the bigger picture of life, and that's winning. TT, he helped me grow a lot. He helped me grow up as a young man, and also he showed me how to way I had to work if I wanted to be successful. Also, thank you to Beth. She takes care of all of us with all of our problems, probably more than she wants to, but she deals with it. Last, but certainly not least, thank you. I want to thank my mother and father. There aren't enough words in the English dictionary to express how thankful I am for all the sacrifices you both have made for me. They would do anything for me, and I'll love them forever for that. And without further ado, for the next four years, I'll be starting my academics and athletic dreams at Bowling Gray State University. Go Falcons! <laughs> All right, uh, next person, um, uh, another transfer from, uh, I believe, the state of Car North Carolina, uh, has become an integral part of our basketball program. Uh, gotten to know him a little bit. Uh, great young man from everything that I can tell, and has been uh, a, a huge part of uh, the basketball team's success, Mr. Jalen Withers. <laughs> like to uh, thank God, my family, coaching staff, uh, pretty much everybody that's helped me along the way to, <laughs> uh, to achieving new, new levels in all aspects and all levels. Uh, I'll be further my education at the University of Louisville. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to put this <laughs> Uh, next person, Nolan Johnson. He's not in attendance, uh, but uh, Nolan uh, will be attending uh, Walsh University. Uh, this next young man I've known for a couple of years now. Um, when he uh, came here to Cleveland Heights, wasn't quite sure um, how he would contribute to our football team. But um, you know, as a person, I knew he was an awesome young man. Uh, got to know his mom pretty well over the last couple of years, so I knew of nothing else. We were just getting a well-rounded young man, uh, but came right in, or came in right away and contributed uh, to the football uh, team in a major way. Probably first two or three games, in my opinion, is probably best player on the field on either, from either team. Um, Jay Sean Harris.
First of all, I'd like to thank God because without him, nothing is possible. My mom for always believing in me and knowing how I can do whatever I set myself to do. Also, Coach Mack and the whole high school coaches who took me in this year and showed nothing but love to me. I appreciate it. I love you all for that. Thanks to my teammates for helping me push me, helping push me to perform well in games and keeping good company. And Coach Newt, who probably my favorite teacher here, even though he ain't a teacher. <laughs> you know, I love you, Newt, man, but you gotta stop calling me Jonathan. That ain't my name. <laughs> Lastly, I wanna thank my family. They knew I was special from the beginning and made sure they kept me on the right path to success. So I will continue to make them proud. And with that being said, I'll be going to Washington University. Uh, this next young man, I don't know quite what I should say about him uh, other than he is a uh, super competitive young man. Um, myself and some of the coaches, we used to uh, joke around that we had to deprogram him a little bit. Uh, but I tell you what, when he um, really bought into to our overall philosophy, uh, you could just see how special he, he, he could really be. Um, I think uh, the future is very bright for him as long as he just keeps working and doing the things that he's been doing. I, I'm, I'm certain uh, uh, he's going to be very successful in life. Mr. Rob Morgan. lost my speech. I'm going to just go off the brain. All right, so first, I want to thank God for bringing me here. And as a transfer, I want to thank my teammates and everybody in Cleveland Heights for accepting me. Uh, I want to thank my parents, my mom and dad, for raising me to be the young man I am today, for spiritually and physically making sure that I'm right no matter what I need. I want to thank my teachers, for always being hard on me, no matter what it is, in school, out of school. And with that being said, I will be attending the University of Bowling Green. So this next young man right away, he earned a uh, nickname. Uh, he's one of our smaller linemen, uh, but he never complained. Um, you know, always gave us everything he could in practice. Um, but we called him ATL because he was from Georgia. And uh, that, that, that was his name amongst the coaching staff. But always smiling, um, always brought a positive demeanor. Always had, <clears throat> always had something positive to say, say to, to me uh, every day, uh, Mr. Cedric Little. <clears throat> She's my number one fan, always win or lose, and has always been there for me. Um, next, I would like to thank my coaches for guidance and motivation. I also like to thank my, uh, my position coach, Coach Boone, for giving me opportunities to make myself better on and off the field. And Coach Newton for being someone to look up to and ask for advice and talk to him about problems. Um, I want to give a shout out to my lawmen for being my brothers and challenging me. Lastly, I want to thank my teammates for pushing me and making me a better player and a, a person. One thing that kept me motivated this season and this senior year was something that one of our coaches told us. He said, don't let nobody control your destiny. Um, I'm thankful for being able to experience this moment and for being able to play football at the next level. With that being said, I will be continuing my academic and athletic career at Vermillion Community College.
Uh, this next young man, I, I know going into his senior year, he had uh, very high aspirations and he really worked his tail off in the off season, getting stronger and trying to work on his speed and quickness. And unfortunately for him, he had a uh, devastating leg injury um, at the very beginning of the season, missed his entire senior year. He was able to dress, I believe, for the last game, uh, senior night. Um, but never got the opportunity to, to actually uh, play his senior year. Um, <clears throat> but uh, to his credit, uh, he stuck with it and um, was at practice every day supporting his teammates uh, despite uh, the frustration of dealing with his injury, uh, Davion Bolton. First off, I like to thank God. Uh, I like to thank my coaches and my teammates for pushing me. Uh, even though I didn't get to play in my senior year due to my leg injury, uh, it's just a minor setback for a major comeback. So, you know, with that being said, I'll be playing at Sunny Area Community College. This uh, next young man um, moved here from uh, North Carolina. His mom, I believe, was a Cleveland Heights graduate, if, if, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, and, um, you know, it, it, it's funny when, when you coach, um, I always try to remind myself and, and, and the assistant coaches, you know, to sometimes be careful of, of our approach to coaching young men sometimes because you never know uh, what they're going through. And <clears throat> uh, this next young man is a prime example, just uh, knowing some of the situations he had to fight through and, and, and deal with, um, and, and then eventually coming to Cleveland Heights. But once again, because he bought into the, the Heights philosophy, he's got an opportunity to get a college education. Mr. Joshua Callahan. First off, I want to thank God. Um, I want to thank uh, Coach Wadley, Coach TT, Coach Mac uh, for believing in me. I came here, I wasn't playing the same position I was in uh, North Carolina, so they really pushed me and uh, helped me. Uh, last, I want to thank my family for uh, believing in me, pushing in me. Uh, with that being said, I'll be um, attending Sunny Erie Community College. Um, last but not least, uh, this young man uh, was one of those guys that did everything that was asked of him. Um, I don't know that he ever missed a workout in the off season. He even did additional workouts uh, at our facility in, in, in Euclid um, and practice, practice as hard as he could, gave you every, uh, every, everything he could every single day, never complained. Um, as a senior, probably didn't play as, as much as he had uh, hoped to, um, but just always worked at trying to get better, and that's all that you can ask for. Uh, Brandon Elium. Uh, first off, I would like to thank uh, God, uh, my dad, my mom, all the coaches. Uh, yeah, I would like to thank everybody who helped me through the process. With that being said, I would like to I would com commit to uh, Sunny Air Community College. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to open up those folders and sign your national letter of intent. Congratulations to all of our signees. 
I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, I think it's impressive. There is family, friends, teachers, community members. I think that speaks volumes to what we have going on here at Heights. So we look forward to next year's signing day and our future signees.